This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook. Phantom Fungus Phantom Fungus are insidious guards. Not only are they invisible and quiet, but most detection spells fail to register their presence. Unfortunately, these same under-detectable qualities make phantom fungi, fungi dif difficult to train. Seasoned trainers usually tie ribbons around key points of the phantom fungus or bonds around key points of the phantom fungus or gives it an occasional dusting of flour to keep up with it. They typically teach the creature to clack its teeth together to alert them when it completes a trick. Adventurers who know this listen for a for an occasional clacking sound when they suspect the presence of trained phantom fungi. Phantom fungi are only trainable as adults. Their spores are non-intelligent and immobile. DC young slash adult nothing then slash 27 score price 1000 gold pieces training cost 1000 gold pieces rust monster domesticated rust monsters are quite friendly toward their masters but their lust for rust overcomes any notion of friendship or loyalty Masters who enjoy carrying metal items usually just leave their rust monsters alone in an enclosed area as free roaming guards since rust monsters do very little real damage. They are often the first line of defense to dissuade intruders rather than harm them or to soften them up for the more dangerous second line. DC Young Slash Adult 23 slash 30 young price 1000 gold pieces training cost 1200 gold pieces sea lion for castles built on ocean cliffs royal yachts out of or out on pleasure cruises or underwater treasure grottos sea lions make excellent guards sea lion trainers are usually look look Lokthas or Morfolk. Land dwellers are at too great a disadvantage in attempting to soothe and teach these ferocious predators. Because of their fighting tactics and disposition, sea lions are best kept and trained in, in prides. They cannot be domesticated. DC Young Slash Adult 24-31 Young price 3,500 gold pieces Training cost 2,500 gold pieces Shadow Mastiff With their bay ability Shadow Mastiffs are best employed as personal escorts of evil masters or left among other evil creatures Their natural abilities are also heightened underground deep indoors or just in the proximity of tall things that cast a lot of shadows where light is less likely to hamper them. DC Young slash Adult 22 slash 29 Young Price 10,000 gold pieces Training Cost 3,000 gold pieces Shocker Lizard These magical beasts are guardians for the fashionably rich because of their habitat preference, clutches or whole colonies, clutches or whole colonies of shocker li lizards are placed in the gardens and inner courtyards of expensive houses to guard against the in 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 inevitable thief who tries entry under cover of heavy fo foliage. Others keep shocker lizards at pers as personal protection, wearing them on their shoulders like an exotic, like exotic pets, or walking a pair of them on short leashes while out and about. 
Trainers usually teach household shocker lizards not to attack children or favored servants. Vindictive owners, though, sometimes have them trained not to emit their customary warning clicks before attacking. DC, young slash adult, 20 slash 27. Egg price, 750 gold pieces. Training costs, 1,000 gold pieces. Bargoyle, evil or unusually twisted masters employ these hideous outsiders to guard their valuables. Predictably, Bargoyles, bar bargoyles must often guard tombs and ma mausoleums for, from grave robbers. Clever despots also hide them outside their places among rows of pikes topped with se severed heads. Bargoyles have little personality and no, e and no easily discernible response to reward or punishment. These qualities make them tough to train. DC, young slash adult, nothing slash 26. Young price, no, no price, training cost, 1500 gold points. New guard creatures. These new animals and beasts can be trained as guards. Climb dog, small animal, hit dice, two die, eight plus four, 13 hit points. Initiative, plus two dex, speed, 40 feet, climb, 40 feet, AC, 17, plus one size, plus two dex, plus four natural, touch, 13, flat footed, 15. Attacks, Bite plus four melee. Damage bite one die six plus three. Face slash reach five feet by five feet slash five feet. Special qualities low light vision scent. Saves four plus five. Ref plus five. Will plus one. Abilities strength fifteen. Dexterity fifteen. Constitution fifteen. Intelligence two. Wisdom twelve. Charisma six. Skills climb plus nineteen. Hide plus six. Listen plus six. Spot plus six. Climate slash terrain any hill or mountains. Organization solitary, pair or pack. Fifty through twenty. Challenge rating one. Treasure none. Alignment bullies neutral. Advancement three through four HD medium size. Five through six HD large. Climb dogs live vertically. These canine creatures creatures clamber about effortlessly on the rocky cliffs where there are found where they are found. They can climb nearly anything short of a sheer surface. A climb dog has mottled short gray fur, black eyes, and short legs. It is thickly muscled and its wide paws are four toed, two facing forward and two facing to the rear. This arrangement allows climb dogs to hook their, claw, their curved claws into a cliffside whether they face up or down. Climb dogs live in sparse packs, claiming entire cliffs for their territory. They feel they feed on cliff dwelling birds and make their dens in shadow cave shallow caves. Their short legs belie the, the amazing speed at which they can scuttle about on vertical surfaces. In some cities, climb, climb dogs have been imported to curb bird overpopulation. After the bird problems are solved, however, packs of half wild climb dogs remain roaming the alleys, trading a nuisance for a potential threat. Adult climb dogs are about three foot long and weigh up to 70 pounds. Combat Primitive halflings are well known for domesticating and training climb dogs 
though any race can do so. The creatures are easily taught and exceptionally loyal. Climb dogs fight to the death in defense of their masters. True to their nature, they prefer to attack from above, leaping down on prey if possible. Skills Climb dogs receive a plus 4 racial bonus on climb checks, in addition to the plus 8 bonus on climb checks from having a climb speed. Training a climb dog. A climb dog. Training a climb dog as a hunting or guard animal requires a successful handle animal check. DC 10, young. DC 17, adult. Climb dog pups are worth 30 gold pieces on the open market. Professional trainers charge 125 gold pieces to rear or train a climb dog. Pet hunter. Medium sized beast. Hit dice 4d10 plus 12, 34 HP. Initiative plus 0, speed 30 feet. Burrow, burrow 10 feet. AC 16 plus 6 natural. Touch 10, flat footed 16. Attacks 2 claws plus 7 melee and fight plus 2 melee. Damage. Claw, 1 die 6 plus 4, fight 1 die 8 plus 2, face slash reach, 5 feet by 5 feet slash 5 feet. Special attacks, improved grab. Special qualities, dark vision 60 feet, low light vision thud. Saves, fort plus 7, ref plus 4, will plus 2. Abilities, strength 19, dexterity, 10, Constitution 17, Intelligence 2, Wisdom 12, Charisma 6, Skills Jump plus 12, Spot plus 8, Climate slash Terrain, Any Temperate and Warm Land, Organization Pack 5 through 10, Challenge Rating 2, Treasure None, Alignment Always Neutral, Advancement 5 through H8 D, HD, large, 9 through 12 HD, huge. Dark blue, thick skinned, hairless predators hunt bar burrowing creatures. Their footfalls rumble through the ground, unsetting their prey's tremor, tremor sense and driving it to the surface where they pounce on it. After bringing down a kill, the pack feasts. The, the pack feasts, often, often sleeping for days afterward. A full belly can sustain a thunder hunter for up to two weeks. Though thud hunters, thud hunters, though thud hunters love a big kill, they can also survive on a diet of small burrowing animals. Thud hunters take well in domestication, although they need frequent exercise to stay sharp for hunting. Rich sports hunters sometimes keep train packs of the beast solely for the occasion bullet hunt. Solely for the occasional bullet hunt. Bud hunters stand two and a half feet tall at the shoulder and weigh upwards of 100 pounds. Combat. Unlike most predators, thud hunters are loud and obvious. Hunting in packs, they keep their shovel nose close to the ground. Their footfalls thunder for a quarter mile or more through the air and farther underground as they attempt to flush out their quarry. Once a Burrowing creature surfaces, the nearest thud hunter attacks with their claws and grapple to keep it from escaping, while others burrow underneath together the pack claws and bites its prey to death. <laughs> Improved grab X. If a thud hunter hits with a claw, it deals normal damage and attempts to start a grapple as a free action without provoking an attack of opportunity. It has the option to conduct the grapple normally 
or simply use that claw to hold the uh, opponent. Negative 20 on grapple checks, but the Thud Hunter is not considered grappled. Each successful grapple check it makes during successive rolls automatically deals the damage given for the claw attack. Thud EX EX. Their thick, stumpy legs loudly stomp the ground when the Thud Hunters prowl. Creatures with Tremor, sen tremor sense within 120 feet are driven to distraction by the disruptive vibrations and are forced to surface unless they succeed in a will save DC 16. Once they do surface, they must they must succeed on a second will save DC 16 or be stunned for one round. Skills. Dead hunters receive a plus five racial bonus on jump checks. Training Thud Hunter. Training a Thud Hunter as a hunting hunting or guard beast requires a successful handle animal check. DC 22 young, DC 29 adult. Thud Hunters young are worth 200 gold pieces on the open market. Professional trainers charge 500 gold pieces to rear or train a Thud Hunter. Mounts. Mounts are great to have around. They get you where you need to go quickly and help you out in combat. And the smaller ones can provide friendship and advice in uncertain times. Mounts are also a lot of trouble. They're big, they eat a lot, they're finicky, and they require specialized knowledge and equipment. Basically, they're party members without hands. Nearly any creature can be a mount for a cle clever, tenacious rider. The general rule is that the mount must be at least one size larger than their riders, so a gnome, small, can ride a dire badger, medium size. An elf, medium size, can ride a giant eagle, large. Or an ogre, large, can ride an elephant, huge. Weight limits for flying mounts. Flying creatures can fly at their given speed if carrying no more than a light load. This is a change from the monster manual. The weight of the rider and the rider's armor and equipment count against this limit. A creature can carry as many passengers as its, as its space and carrying capacity allow. One small or medium sized rider or passenger can fit in each 5 foot square the creature occupies and still have room to move around and fight if necessary. Riders of course must arrange themselves according to the creature's shape, care, and feeding. Mounts are so wide, widely that it is impractical. impractical to create a single rule for determining how much one eats or how much attention it needs from a stable hand. Many DMs don't even worry about details of mount care and feeding and for good reason. It's boring. However, some guidelines are worth considering. Exotic mounts need exotic care. In civilized areas, stable, feed, and grooming for a horse or riding dog costs five silver pieces per day. If a mount is larger, is oddly shaped, or has an unusual diet, a stable master might double or quadruple that price. If the creature eats something difficult to obtain, the owner must be prepared to provide it. In the wilderness or underground, Assume that the owner must spend about an hour each day on various mount maintenance tasks. If there are no unusual considerations, the character is assumed to take care of these tasks during the time that wizards and clerics prepare their spells for the day. Otherwise, having a dedicated hireling to handle the mount is a smart consideration. For animal mounts, the wage is 15 copper pieces per day found in chapter 5 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. 
is adequate for beasts and magical beasts with special abilities or grooming needs. The price can easily double to three silver pieces per day. Larger or more dangerous mounts might run up to one or two gold pieces per day. Since caring for these creatures requires specialized knowledge and skills that rival those of an al alchemist or sage. New Equipment Most of the following equipment and magic items are created for use with horses. Unless, unless otherwise stated, references, references to horse include mules, donkeys, and ponies. Presumably, any craft worker or spellcaster who could create an item for use with a horse could create a similar item for more exotic now. For a more excited now. Barding. Chapter 7 of the Player's Handbook provides rules, weights, and costs for barding for medium size and large mounts. For creatures of larger size, barding is usually cost prohibit prohibitive and unnecessary. The creatures with special movement types, borrow, fly, swim, are especially hampered by the extra weight and bulk. However, exceptions abound for larger or stranger mounts than the norm referred to the table below, applying the appropriate multiplier to the cost of the armor as given on table 7-5. Armor in the player in the player's handbook. Barting for unusual mounts. Unusual nature, huge, cost times eight, weight times four. Unusual nature, gargantuan, cost times 16, weight times 16. Unusual nature, colossal, cost times 32, weight times 256. Unusual nature, odd shape, cost times two, weight times one. How dog, a how dog is a seat or box usually with a canopy and railing placed on the back of a huge or large creature. For medium sized riders, four medium sized riders can fit on a how dog. Ornate how dogs are status symbols for rich or noble people, but open air versions also make excellent fighting platforms. In addition to placing occupants, in addition to placing occupants out of the reach of most infantry, a howdah provides one half cover, costs 200 gold pieces, weight 100 pounds. Sidecar saddle, a long mount that is at least two sizes, two size categories larger than its rider can carry sidebar saddles or sidecar saddles. These types of exotic saddle hangs off a creature's side, allowing it to carry passengers without crowding the rider. If a mount is only two size categories larger than the rider, such as a horse carrying a halfling, sidecar saddles must be worn and weighted in pairs to keep the mount from becoming unbalanced. If the mount is three or more size categories larger than the riders, such as a half orb on an ancient bronze dragon, then the added weight is negligible for the mount and not unbalancing. Riders in a sidecar saddle automatically get one half cover from attacks coming from the opposite side of the mount. Cost 60 gold pieces, weight 40 pounds. Magic items. Bracelet of Friends. Rather than a unique magic item, this is a special application of the Bracelet of Friends found in the Dungeon Master's Guide. It has the same prerequisites and cost. Instead of king, king charms to people, the wearer may key the charms to her mouth, animal, companion, or guard creature, and call the creature to her wherever she may be. Bridle of Ease This magic bridle 
grants trainers a plus five competence bonus on handle animal checks when training a mount. Versions of this item are available for exotic mounts. Caster level seven. Prerequisite or prerequisites craft wondrous items. Charm monster. Market price five hundred gold pieces. Weight one pound. Clever bridle. Cleaver bridle. This bit and bridle set always looks clean and new. When worn by a horse, a cleaver bridle grants the ability to learn three, six, or nine more tricks. Clever bridle. More tricks than the horse could normally learn, depending on the version. The horse must wear the, the bridle for eight hours per day to maintain any extra tricks it learns. Caster level fifth prerequisites craft wondrous item animal craft wondrous item animal friendship market price three tricks one thousand gold pieces six tricks four thousand gold pieces nine tricks nine thousand gold pieces weight one pound equestrian saddle Anyone seated in the military set in this military saddle feels more comfortable and competent at equi equest equestrianism. At equestrianism, the saddle grants a plus ten circumstance bonus on ride checks with horses. Caster level fifth prerequisites: crap wondrous items. Market price 2,000 gold pieces, weight 50 pounds. Horseless saddle. When the command word is spoken, this riding saddle leaps into the air and fastens itself around a phantom steed as the spell cast by an 8th level caster. If the steed is killed, the saddle cannot be reactivated for 24 hours. Caster level 8. Prerequisites, Craft Wondrous Item, Phantom Steed, Market Price 43,200 Gold Pieces, Weight 25 Pounds. Horseshoes of Thunder. Once per day, when a horse gallops at a full run and the rider speaks the command word, these shoes emit a loud crack of thunder. Any creature in a 20 foot radius, excluding the mount rider, and any passengers comes under the effect of a shout spell cast by a 7th level caster. Caster level 7th, prerequisites, craft wondrous item, shout, market price, 10,080 gold pieces, weight 1 pound each. Saddlebags of holding. These saddlebags open into an extra dimensional space, allowing them to hold much more than they would seem able to. Saddlebags of holding always come in pairs. Each bag contains 30 cubic feet of space and can hold 250 pounds. They otherwise operate identically to the bag of holding. One, the bag of holding. One, descri describe the bag of holding I described in the Dungeon Master's Guide. No, the bag of holding one described in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Caster level ninth prerequisites. Craft Wanderer's item. Leoman's secret chest. Market price, 5,000 gold pieces. Weight, 30 pounds. Saddle bags of providing. Each bag of this pair serves a different function. Every morning, the right bag contains enough food to feed whatever creature it is slung over for one day. For horses, it, for horses, this, for horses, this is generally oats and a few lumps of sugar. For griffins, it means several pounds of raw horse meat. If removed and not eaten, the food spoils after 24 hours. Food does not appear if anything else is placed in the bag. 
the left bag contains a masterwork set of grooming and leather repair tools. The grooming tools are appropriate for whatever creature the bag is slung over. In addition, the left bag contains 10 cubic feet of space for the rider's personal effects and in all other ways acts as a bag of holding. Both bags weigh the same as regular empty saddlebags, regardless of their contents. Caster level 9, prerequisites, craft wondrous items, create food and water, Leomune's secret chest, market price 8,000 gold pieces, weight 16 pounds. Shielding blinders. This set of blinders is black with gold inlaid glyphs covering the outer surface. A horse wearing shielding blinders is completely protected from gay from gaze attacks. Caster level third prerequisite craft wondrous items darkness market price twelve thousand gold pieces weight two pounds. Shrink collar. Rather than resizing to fit its wearer, as most wearable magic items do, this half inch wide metal collar studded with tiny jewels resizes its wearer. When worn, the collar grows to two inches wide and the jewels enlarge to cover most of its surface regardless of his or her original size. The wearer shrinks to small size, becoming around 3 feet in height and weighing no more than 60 pounds. None of the creature's other attributes change. Unwi unwilling targets get a fortitude save DC 11 to resist. If the size is successful, the collar snaps and it's, re and it's ruined. A creature with intelligence 2 or lower must succeed on a will save DC 11 or become panicked by the transformation. Animal companions do not have to make this save nor do creatures that have the F effect of the collar explained to them beforehand somehow, such as through telepathy or speak with animals. Caster level 5th Prerequisites, craft wondrous items, reduce market price, 10,000 gold pieces, weight 1 pound. Whip of Abeyance, this masterwork leather riding whip grants its user a plus 10 circumstance bonus on handle animal checks. This bonus applies only to creatures with intelligence 2 or lower. Caster level 5th prerequisite craft wondrous items animal friendship market price 2000 gold pieces weight 2 pounds how much will a trainer charge trainers with the equipment and know-how to train exotic mounts are rare and they know it they can set their own prices for their service however this is not price gouging Training is long, hard work, especially in the case of rearing young creatures. The price a trainer charges might be her entire income for the year. The following table provides some general guidelines for what a trainer might charge. This is just a starting point. DMs can adjust prices up or down. Training conditions. DC 15 through 19, training cost 125 gold pieces. Training conditions, DC 20 through 24, training cost 250 gold pieces. Training conditions, DC 25 through 29, training costs 500 gold pieces. Training conditions, DC 30 through 35, training cost 1,000 gold pieces. Training conditions, unusual movement, fly, swim, burrow, difficult special abilities, vicious creature. Oh wait, unusual movement, fly, swim, or burrow, 
500 gold pieces. Training costs 500 gold pieces. Training conditions. Difficult special abilities. Training costs 500 gold pieces. Training conditions. Vicious creature. Training costs 1000 gold pieces. Training condition. Assistant required. 100 gold pieces. Uh, training cost is 100 gold pieces each. Training conditions. Charm monster scroll. Training cost 700 gold pieces. Trainers charge much less for animals which require less risk and specialized knowledge. On the other hand, creatures with alien mindsets or ecologies such as those from other planets or planes or with sharp alignments, differences from from the trainer or those requiring unique equipment can drive the price up even further. Other animal mounts. Horses are not the only animals that can be ridden. Many different animals make excellent mounts, sometimes even better than horses depending on the climate and the regional preferences. Each of the following entries give information about a particular creature serving as a mount. It ends with statistics for carrying capacities, handle animal check DCs for rearing both young and adult creatures, the market price for one egg or young of the creature in the trainer's charge to rear or train the creature. Camel. Camels are favored mounts in the desert. When fully stocked, a camel can travel up to a week with little food and no water. Further, camels require no shoeing or fussy grooming as horses do. Drome dairy camels, one hump, are best for riding, while Bactri Bactrians, two humps, are best for carrying cargo. Camels are thought to be too bad tempered and to carry grudges against people who mistreat them, getting revenge by kicking or spitting. Actually, while no creature likes being mistreated, camels are fairly patient and hard workers. Carrying capacity, light 300 pounds, medium 600 pounds, heavy 900 pounds, DC young slash adult 11 slash 18, Young price, 50 gold pieces. Training cost, 10 gold pieces. Dire Badger. In communities where gnomes are the primary race, elite soldiers ride dire badgers. These gnome cavalry units are especially well coordinated since the riders can talk to their mounts using their innate speak with animal abilities. Animals ability. Um, conversations are never long or deep, but rider and mount learn how to communicate economically in the one minute time they have each day. Taking about talking about the day's agenda, war efforts, and each other's physical and emotional states. Carrying capacity. Limit eighty seven pounds, medium one hundred and seventy four pounds, heavy 263 pounds. DC, young slash adult, 16 slash 23. Young price, 100 gold pieces. Train cost, 15 gold pieces. Dire bats. Dire bats are saddled with so many evil associations. One would hardly think of adding a rider to. Yet they make excellent mounts. Some riders prefer dire bats to the more willful giant eagles or owls, if for no other reason than that they do not have the same pesky good alignment associations. Bat riding is difficult since it commonly occurs in the dark, and the bat's blind sight has much longer range than most riders' dark vision. Riders must pay close attention to their mount's movements and allow it to help steer in low light conditions. The DM might increase the ride check DC, giving that the bat reacts to things the rider is unaware of. 
carrying capacity, light 258 pounds, medium 519 pounds, heavy 780 pounds, DC young slash adult 17-24. Young price 150 gold pieces, training cost 100 gold pieces. Dire Boar. Boar riders may pay close attention to their mounts in a fight. Due to its innate ferocity, a dire boar gives no indication that it is hurt or nor or near death in combat. A rider caught up in his own battle can take an especially hard tumble or a tumble when the mount falls beneath him, taking an extra one die six points of falling damage from being thrown by the boar's sudden stop. Dire boars are ferocious, omnivorous, and tear up the ground mercilessly in search of roots and grubs. As long as the boar stays above ground near decent sized vegetation, its master doesn't even need to pack food. The mountain simply forages for what it needs. Carrying capacity, light 10,000 or 1,038 pounds, medium. 2,076 pounds, heavy 3,120 pounds, DC young adult, or young slash adult, 20 slash 27, young price 400 gold pieces, training cost 75 gold pieces. This was brought to you by Franklin County Internet Gaming Society on YouTube and Facebook, Roger Hansen on Patreon, and Gaming with Infamous on Discord. Thanks for stopping by. Listen to our podcast on any of these platforms. Anchor. Breaker. Overcast. Pocket Casts. Radio Public. Spotify. Support us on Patreon and check us out on Discord. All the links can be found in the video description below. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.